the middle of winter, nothing beats a good old stew. And I'm going to do my stew using some kangaroo. Kangaroo is a fantastic substitute for many different meats. And the best thing about it is you can get kangaroo at lots of your supermarkets these days. So I've just been preheating a saute pan and we're going to cook our meat first. So what we want to do is get some good colour on our kangaroo. So first up, the oil and we'll cook about a kilo of this lovely diced kangaroo. Season that with some salt and pepper. And I don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I'm going to cook this in two batches. The main aim here is just to get some good colour on our kangaroo. That's looking good, so we can take that out. And in with the second batch. Again, salt and pepper. And while that last batch is cooking, let's get on to some carrots. Lots of carrots for this. I like the sweetness of them with our beautiful kangaroo. So we're just going to cut these into rounds. So we'll start with two, line them up, and nice chunky rounds. We want them to be roughly the same size as the kangaroo pieces. Okay, this batch is looking good. Give it a toss. The more colour you get on this, the more flavour we're going to get into the stew. So we'll remove this batch. Just like any stew, we need a basis of onions, so one diced onion. And I want to add a little bit of fat to this for some flavour. So I love the addition of guinciale, or you can also use some pancetta. Give that a stir and that will soften. this until we've got some good colour and the kangaroo can be placed back into the pot along with any juices. Give that a stir. And so we've got a lovely thick sauce. I'll add a sprinkle of plain flour and again a stir just to coat all of that diced kangaroo in the flour. Great. A few more things. We'll add our diced carrots. A bouquet garni and some treacle. You could use some honey too. Just love that rich, deep colour. Give that a stir in there. And some beer. Kangaroo and beer, best mates. So in with some dark ale. Now, that's going to be the main liquid in here. We just want it to come up to the boil. See how it's starting to boil now? That smells so good. Final little touch, a splash of stock. About 500 mils is plenty. The lid goes on and I'll turn this down to a low heat. And now this cooks until the meat is super tender and we've got a lovely glossy gravy. smells so good in here and have a look at this stew. It's glossy, it's thick and most importantly our kangaroo is super tender. Now you can't serve a stew like this without lashings of mashed potato. So mash into our bowl, spread that out and then a generous spoonful of our stew. Oh, See the carrots, they've held their shape, but they're really tender now and quite sweet. And just that little bit of flour has helped make this as thick as it is. Just for a pop of colour, maybe a sprig of parsley on the side. That is a beautiful Irish style stew, of course, with a bit of an Aussie twist with the addition of kangaroo.